Hey guys, it is Friday, which means now is the best time for you to get all caught up on what happened this week. Here's what matters. It may not be gaming news, but it is significant enough to elbow its way into this week's recap. Star Wars The Force Awakens is now the third highest grossing film of all time. Last weekend, the sci-fi blockbuster pulled in almost 146 million globally, which now puts its global box office figures at 1.733 billion. The Force Awakens surpassed Jurassic World, which formerly held the number three spot on Monday. Some of the weekend's box office success was due to the movie's debut in China, where it broke records upon its opening on Saturday. The Force Awakens still has a way to go to surpass Titanic and Avatar, whose overall takings stand at 2.186 billion and 2.78 billion respectively. But we'll keep you posted. This week, Warner Brothers released the Combat Pack 2 gameplay trailer, showing off the new characters who will be joining the Mortal Kombat X roster. The brutal trailer shows off plenty of bloody and bone-breaking action, featuring the expansion pack's newest fighters. Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the Xenomorph from Alien, Borai Cho and Triborg, who is a combo of Cyrax, Sector and Robot Smoke. The Combat Pack 2 also includes the Apocalypse Pack, the Goro character, the Brazil Pack and both the Cold War and Cold War Scorpion Packs. Essentially, those will grant you a whole bunch of new skins. Earlier this week, it surfaced that Sony had attempted to trademark the phrase Let's Play. Yes, this is pretty much up there with Taylor Swift trying to trademark the phrase Nice to meet you, where you been? As discovered by NeoGAF, Sony filed the application to the United States Patent and Trademark Office on October 28. It recently surfaced on trademark site Justia, which stated that Sony hoped to trademark the term for use in, quote, electronic transmission and streaming of video games via global and local computer networks, streaming of audio, visual and audio visual material via global and local computer networks. The trademark office since replied refusing the trademark due to the similarity to one that already exists, LP Let's Play. If you liked The Witcher 3, then you'll love The Witcher 3's next expansion, which is apparently better than the main game. That's according to its developer, said a project read. Senior writer Jacob Somalik told Eurogamer Italy that the upcoming Blood & Wine expansion has been created off the back of all of their experience and fan feedback in creating The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. As a result of that, he says the team have created something that is even better than the main game. Somalik makes particular note of the new charismatic enemy that players will come up against, and the complex story he thinks people will enjoy. Blood & Wine is a 20-hour story where Geralt heads to a land free from war, where an atmosphere of carefree indulgence and nightly rituals masks an ancient bloody secret. It's due out in the first half of this year. Finally, a Microsoft live stream earlier this week revealed that Gears of War 4 is going to launch sooner than expected. The Xbox One shooter was supposed to land in the holiday season of this year, but is now slated to launch in the fall. If that's still not soon enough for your liking, the Gears of War 4 beta is scheduled to arrive this spring, and those who picked up the Gears of War Ultimate Edition will get to play it first. Elsewhere in the live stream, Microsoft revealed that 45% of Ultimate Edition players are new to the Gears franchise. Let me know down in that comment box what you cared about this week and if you think Star Wars The Force Awakens can overtake Avatar and Titanic in the global box office. This week on site, I give you a super special behind the scenes look at the gist. The Fallout 4 show takes a look at lightsaber and robot mods and we compare HTC Vive to Oculus Rift. That is everything that I have for you this week. As always, be sure to have yourselves a wonderful weekend and I will catch you again on Monday.